All right, we have a full injury update. We're going to give you all three players at once and save you a little bit of time. First, I would like to start with Alex Anzalone. Uh, as everyone's aware, Anzalone suffered uh, a wrist injury and potentially an ankle injury last week. He uh, also celebrated the birth of his new daughter uh, last week. I believe it was Thursday. And uh, that's probably part of the reason why he didn't play this weekend as well, but we'll never know. Uh, but good news is Alex should be back this weekend. And and that's what Dan Campbell had said. And I have a clip here to to go over all that. I'll play for you in just a minute. But Dan gave, you know, big kudos to this linebacker core. He, he said that, you know, some of the guys played some of their best games, flying all over the field, making plays. And that's exactly what we needed to see out of these guys when you have a, you know, uh, really the, the quarterback, your defense go down. So let's roll into uh, Dan Campbell right now. Leader there. Listen, I thought the linebacker room played at a high level. I thought that group as a whole played really well for us. You know, as a whole, they, they played winning football. Um, Barnes was all over the field, man, played fast, physical. I thought it was one of the best games Jack's played, you know, uh, played well in space. Um, you know, between he and, and uh, Barnes, they both had the green dot at different times on the field and, and executed that well. And then we already talked about Germ, you know. Germ executed at a high level. I mean, we, we, we got to find a way to get him out there a little bit, um, you know. Uh, and then Rodrigo helped us out as well. So they all had a hand in it. Uh, the room was big for us. And, uh, you know, that was another area that we felt good. If there's an area we, we've got depth and guys we trust, it's in the linebacker room right now. And so, if we, you know, hopefully we, get, we do get Alex back this week, and that just brings more firepower on defense. Well, you heard it from the man himself. He does expect that there's a good chance that Alex Anzalone will be back this weekend. Uh, next guy we're going to talk about is the one that everyone's probably waiting on. And that's Aline McNeil. I, I know how big Frank Ragnow is and, and, you know, how important he is to this team, but Ali McNeil has been the heart of this defense. He's been the most consistent when it comes to, you know, getting some pass rush and winning his pass rush reps and, and really being a clog there, you know, in the center of the D. So Dan wasn't as positive about Ali McNeil. He said that he's pretty banged up and, and I have a video clip of this as well. And we're going to roll into that in just a second, but missing Ali right now has me worried. Uh, it may give an opportunity for Bugs to come back into the game or at least back into the fold to some degree. Uh, we do have Bohana. Uh, we still have Broderick Martin, who hasn't played a whole lot. So there should be some opportunity for some of these guys to, to get activated, whether or not they actually get into the game or not is yet to be seen. But let's roll into what Dan Campbell had to say about Aline McNeil. Front, Aline was really powering through some stuff yesterday. Just how did he come out of that, that game? Yeah, look, Max a little banged up. Um, so we'll know more on him probably in, I would say, a couple of days. So there's a chance he may, may not be up either. Well, I think that about sums it up. I mean, very, uh, very grim on, on Ali McNeil's condition at this time. Uh, chances are that Ali McNeil is not going to be playing this weekend. We don't know anything more than what, what he just told us. So you're looking probably at least one week, if not two. Uh, hopefully it's not much more than that. And uh, we're planning on the Lions to, you know, go in and, and get another win against the Bears. We're going to need that, that win next weekend. Uh, and lastly, we'll talk about Frank Rag now. Um, there's been positivity and negativity, both sides of the ball with, with what Frank's dealing with. Uh, like I posted earlier today, the, the sentiment was they were more worried that it was something significant. Uh, post the game or during the game when they checked him out, they felt a little bit more positive about it. And the plan was that it was nothing serious. And, you know, post that, it was really waiting for this MRI result to give us the final answer we already speculated that it wasn't going to be an ACL issue. The question is, what is he really dealing with? Because again, we're not given much information. So let's roll into what Dan Campbell has to say, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, look, I, I would say this. It's, I, I would feel like more than anything, we got good news, but, but that doesn't mean that he's going to be available this week. So again, not much information from Dan Campbell. And again, we're kind of left, uh, you know, out here wondering what's going to happen. The good news is this. Graham Glasgow has been excellent this season. He has done everything that's been asked of him. He's played both guard positions, right tackle, and he's done it at a high level. Single-handedly, this is the best off-season acquisition that Brad Holmes has made. And, and I'm hoping that if Graham Glasgow still has something left in the tank after this season, that he wants to come back again. He, he's been, you know, kind of the Iron Man for this offensive line. Staying healthy. And, uh, and doing everything that's asked of him. I mean, what more can you really ask for? That's exactly why we got him. You know, the, you don't want it for this moment, but it also is for this moment. Um, and even uh, to be able to make the move yesterday, you know, he's banging away at right guard, and then at the drop of a hat, he's got to go back in there to center. Um, 
and, and really played played well at center yesterday. So, um, man, it's 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 valuable uh, to be able to have him here, and because we do have a lot of confidence in him playing center. Um, so, yeah, thank God we got him. At this point, though, my question to Brad Holmes is, would be this: When are you going to go out and find somebody to elevate this offensive line? Because we're suffering injuries left and right, and we have been for three seasons, and we have yet to really elevate it with some good, solid backups. Kobe Sorsdahl may be good in a couple of seasons. He was not the answer this season to backup, which everybody knew Vitae was a liability. Uh, so why didn't we get somebody that would be on that next level and, and be really ready to step in? Maybe they don't get a ton of playing time and they're a little bit overpaid, but I think that's a better insurance policy than not having that individual available. So I hope they take a proactive approach to it this off season and they find some guys that, you know, maybe it costs you a little bit more, but that insurance policy, knowing that your entire offense runs through the running game and having a good offensive line to protect Jared Goff and without it, you see what happens. Uh, we got thrashed against the Packers. We got thrashed against the bears. The Ravens made us look silly. And a lot of that was due to injuries and just simply not playing well, but the injuries are what's hurting us and, and not, you know, having the guys together, um, and having your number ones in there, it's a problem for any team. It just seems to be a bigger problem for the Lions right now. So that's my question to Brad is when are we going to solidify that position and finally move on from it? Uh, but that's it really for a Rock Down Detroit Lions injury update today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And of course, if you like content like this and would like to see more, there's about 200 videos available on this channel. Please go ahead and uh, encourage yourself to subscribe and become the newest member to successfully sponsor and uh, support this channel just by watching videos. That's all we ask you to do here at Rockdown Detroit Lions. All right, y'all. Hope you all have a, a wonderful rest of your Monday evening. And uh, go Detroit Lions. Go one pride. Until next time, please take care of yourself. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.